Hello everybody, back with Legends of Wild Mount. Some announcements before we begin. Uh, the first of which being, I am off center. Uh, Alright, so Tiltify, we're still raising money for Color of Change. It is our channel's charity of choice. If you want to donate, check out the link in the chat. It'll be in all of our VOD descriptions as well, as well as the podcast. Patreon, we got Patreon as well. Uh, you can check out our Patreon. Uh, the $3 tier gets you adventures and dungeons to put into your D&D campaigns every month. So check that out if you're into that. Um, and our schedule stuff can be found on our Twitch channel. That's it. So, last we left off, you all sailed back to Jigao from Far Harom. And had con you each had contracted a strange sickness called blue rot that caused blue boils to manifest all over your body and for your some of your ability scores to get tanked um which is a lot of fun uh but upon arriving in Jigao you went to a temple to the Luxon and healed that sort of illness with the head priest of Jigao Beishades the hobgoblin head priest uh, and also learned that a cult uh, for the worm that walks had been showing up in Jigao, handing out pamphlets. Tore down said pamphlet that was plastered onto the wall of the temple, and headed to the Rotted Tusk Tavern to sort of have drinks and plan where to go next, with Lindek wanting to go back to Bazozan to help the Aurora Watch and deal with the things that the Aurora Watch have to do in Bazalzan, protecting the city from demons who come out of the abyss through these doors known as the Umbra Gate, Umbra, Umbra Gates, Umbra Gates, Umbra Gates. And during these discussions, uh, Madame Le Charme approached Lindak or Enoch, and told Enoch not to worry about his people, which kind of, you know. That was weird because that has not been talked about to Madame Le Charme. Um, so everybody went with Madame Le Charme outside in an alleyway to talk and discovered this was not Madame Le Charme. It, 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 oh man, I just stuttered real bad. Uh, was not Madame Le Charme. In fact, it was a doppelganger who was hired by Zin Daviana to sort of take on the disguise of Madame Le Charme to sort of lull you all into his fortress, which didn't turn out the way he planned it to, because he died. Um, and you learn some information with from this doppelganger that will help you on your way regarding Vox's, uh, Vox's family uh, and this worm that walks cult might be working with the children of Malice. And we sort of left it there in the alleyway with this having a conversation with this doppelganger. And that's where we are. Um, what was it? Sorry, my dogs. Uh, what was... You know what? Never mind. No, go ahead. It's fine. I was. I was just. I couldn't quite remember what what it was we learned about Fox's family. What that, was that? It? That they had been implanted with the same worms that you guys encountered in DSR. That's right. Right. That's right. Okay. And there's some dogs barking nearby. And the doppelganger, did the doppelganger, I can't remember if the doppelganger told you all its name. I think it did. Don't recall. Well, fine. Uh, also, my name's Ozian. Oh, okay. what was that? Ozian. O-Z-I-A-N. All right. So, what are your intentions with me, exactly? Uh, I have no intentions with you. Um, we, uh, I mean, we're just going to be heading to Basil's on. Um, 
Are you taking the road or are you taking the shortcut? I mean, probably the road. That's about 12 days from here to Bazozan. Okay. Um, but there's a secret path under the mountains just outside of Bazozan that'll cut you down to seven days. And what's the, uh, why isn't that the road? Uh, because it's treacherous. Oh, treacherous. So people tend not to want to take it. But also, it's not really that well known about, uh, because it kind of takes you uh, very close to the Umbra Gates and the strange tombs that lie underneath Bazozan. Lindak, what do you think? Uh, I mean, it, we I mean, the, the, the Aurora Mirage does protect the people of Bazozan from what lives in those tombs. So yeah, I mean, the reason I ask is because I mean, right now we're wanting to get this back to the Bright Queen, and twelve days is a long time. Yeah, but uh, I guess I should have brought up a map. Uh. Nope, if you need me to answer, answer a question, I can answer a question. Um, we probably don't want to let you travel alone. Oh, I can probably go unseen pretty easily. There. Huh? I can go unseen pretty easily. No, I was talking to Lindak. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'd rather not go alone, no. Yeah, so. Uh, we'll get you to... Um, Bazazan. Yeah? And he'll look at Talindra and Enoch. And you guys did want to go to Rosana. It's on the way. Um, yes, if if that is where oh. we are deciding to go. Is it? Yes, is it, it is. The, I thought it was it on the... Sort of on I the thought way. Bazazan was on the northern part of the continent, and Rosana was at the southern part of the continent. Okay, Jigao, if you take the road, you have to pass by You have to pass by Bazazan from Jigao going on the road. Oh, Yeah. okay. The road takes you there. I think he said Bazazan yeah. was... On the way to Rosanna. Yes, Bazazan is on the oh. north of the barbed field. I was <laughs> getting that swapped. I was swapping it. Yeah. Was that Bazazan <laughs> is like Bazazan is the north end of the barbed field. Rosanna is the southern end of the barbed field. So it's just a yeah, and you're there. Do we know of any way of skipping over the barbed field? That was yeah, not fun last time. You it take the roads. Not. We didn't take the roads last time. Oh, did yeah, we not? Yeah, we. You teleported, and the teleport put you guys directly into the barbed fields. Ooh, I see. <laughs> but they, we came across right. the other guy on the road. Yeah, you eventually got to the road. Yeah. And we took the road to Isama. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm still talking to you. I don't know. Sorry. Um, uh, yeah, the teleport. Right. You guys wanted to teleport uh, somewhere, but the teleport was off-center. Yeah. That's what was rolled. Yeah. And yeah, you teleported yeah. into the barbed fields. And then yeah. you eventually got onto the road and got to Rasan. All right. Uh, well, uh, is anybody? How's everybody feeling? And should we just get started? It'll take a week if you take go on. If you take the secret pass, it's seven days a week. But mm -hmm. if you take the road, it's twelve days. About three hundred and eighty-one miles from here to Bazozan, on foot, on the roads. Um, I think I'm feeling up for setting out. I need to... I was going home anyway, and I'm, I live in the Underdark, and there's a tunnel to the Underdark where I'm, where that secret entrance is anyway, so... Uh, the timing, the time, um, the seven days versus twelve days, is that with or without rides, mounts? That's without. Without? Hmm. What's this secret passage? Is that would that be? Uh, it's tunnels. You wouldn't, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be mounted under there. No room. What? What exactly are we possibly going to run into if we take the secret passage? Whatever the Aurora sol Watch soldiers, like your friends said, protect Bazozan against undead demons. So then, okay. Well, then here's the question: Is do we want to risk? taking some valuable items that we have in a place where there's definitely going to be demons. Here's here's my thought. I've got this bag of tricks. Some of the stuff that I pull from it can be large. Some of it medium. 
Uh, if one of the creatures is medium, I can ride it. If it's large, someone else can ride it. Um, and I can use it three times a day, in the last all day, whatever I pull from there. We could use those for our mounts, um, perhaps, and make better time on the road than we would, um, going through a treacherous area. How long do will? How long would the mounts last for? Would they just a exist day. from then on? A, a day. day. Yeah. And it's random um, each day with the bag of tricks what you get. Yep. Yeah. It can be, sorry, medium to large? Uh, some of them are small. Some of so, them are small. So there's a chance you could get there, three there small. Be large. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, a large if, creature even if we get two of us, depending on, like me and Talinter could probably be on one large creature if needed. I have Umbra. Are we, are we taking, um, uh, Osriad? Was that what it was? Ozian. No, Ozian. I'm going to the secret entrance because there's a tunnel to the Underdark there and I'm from the Underdark, so that's where I'm going. But it's on the way, so. So you're not, you're not coming the entire way, you're just leaving? Nope. Yep. Okay. So then it would be the four of us. Okay. Um, I mean, it's it's worth trying, I'm, unless we want to... I, I don't know how much money we have left to buy mounts, but we could, that's also an option. I have a little bit of money. Don't know. I don't know how much mounts usually cost. You guys were told that there weren't any mounts in Jigao. The closest place yeah. to buy mounts was Bazozan. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Do you remember what... Um, I thought I wrote this down but I guess I didn't. Do you remember which type of uh, bag of tricks it was? Tan, I think? Oh, jeez. Um, rust. I'll pull, up the list. I'll, pull up the, I'll pull up the list and I'll remember. Okay, sorry about that. It's all good. I should have written it down. Uh, it was, I believe, tan. Okay. So jackal, ape, baboon, axe beak, black bear, giant weasel, giant hyena, and tiger. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, I mean, what are what are your thoughts, Enoch? Do you wanna maybe go uh, travel with Osrin here, um, Osrian? and bash some stuff in the head that probably deserves it or maybe take the uh less maybe less um risky route and hoof it on the main road i think um going the quickest route there would be the smartest for us to do at this uh, point. Okay, so stick to the roads then. Get no, mounts. I think going underground. Oh, because right. I mean we'd move it twice as fast on with with mounts, and that would make it a six day. Uh, there are rules for mounted travel. It's not exactly that. Oh, okay. Can we take the mounts in the secret passage, or is it? Or, no, or is he. It... he... Justin already said that we... we I will read you the rules of mounted travel mounts. just so okay. everyone is clear. Uh, for short spans of time, up to an hour, many animals move much faster than humanoids. A mounted character can ride at a gallop for about an hour, covering twice the usual distance for a fast pace. So you travel at fast pace for an hour on a mount, and then you have to take a break. Okay. If fresh mounts are available every 8 to 10 miles, characters can cover large distances at this pace, but this is very rare except in densely populated areas. Okay. Yeah. But mounted travel is that's right from the php that definitely will. faster yes for than walking yeah you can go you can go fast pace instead of normal pace for an hour at a time and then the mounts have to rest but in the end does that make it, it did you are you still faster or does it end up not being fast at all or you just end up it's you cover the you cover twice the distance walking. you cover twice the distance when they're at a fast pace Okay, so for an hour. so having mounts is useless. <laughs> no, it, it's it's 
If fresh mounts are available every 8 to 10 miles, you can cover yeah. large distances at this pace. Yeah. If you have fresh mounts every 8 to 10 miles. But like, like people, animals get exhausted too. And if they're running the entire way, they'd get exhausted. Yeah, but we get fresh mounts every day. Yeah, but it says fresh mounts every 8 to 10 miles. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, mounts would be useless. So, sure. Yeah. Let's... Mounts yeah, the rules, for mount, the rules for mounted travel in 5e are kind of crap. <laughs> Um, strange. So the quicker, so all right. So then, basically, it's the long, safe route or the quick, the quick, dangerous route. So it looks like, uh, yeah, because animals will be getting exhausted if they keep, if because if you move at a fast pace in D and D at travel time, you get exhausted. That means dashing every turn. Yeah, if you're so if you're traveling right. at a fast pace during travel, you get exhausted because you're running the entire time. So if animals are doing the entire trip at a fast pace as well, because they are also living creatures, they would also get exhausted. So, for example, if you're moving at a fast pace, you can cover 27 miles a day. Mounts can cover 39 miles a day if you're using a fast pace. Okay. Okay. But again, so then, then, could... then the risk for exhaustion starts to set in for even yeah. the mounts. Yeah, yeah. So we could run our... <laughs> run our mounts ragged and then walk the rest of the way for the rest of the day start of a new day get more mounts run them ragged and then walk the rest of the way but if you travel at a fast pace perception checks are made with disadvantage or they automatically fail it's one of those two. yeah 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 so there's yeah there's there's risks to traveling at a fast pace but just getting the rules out there so everybody knows what's yeah. up <laughs> Well, I mean, incredible. Um, these mounts. So you, if you take them out of your bag, uh, are we sure that they will be actually able to be used as mounts? Uh, we wouldn't have to train them or anything. Yeah, you wouldn't have to train them because they obey every order that you give them. I see. The person who summons them. Yeah. Right. Okay. You can use a bonus action to command how the creature moves and what action it takes on its next turn, or to give it general orders, such as to attack your enemies in absence of such orders, future acts in fashion appropriate to its nature. Right. Well, I, I'm, I mean, I, su I suppose that seems like a good alternative. I'm a little hesitant to take um, the beacon, uh, you know. But also taking the beacon on the open road is also a risk. It's we're but gonna at be, least if it's, I, would, I understand. If we're going, sorry, it's going to be on. a risk taking the beacon anywhere. I agree, but isn't it more of a risk if we're bringing it to our demons and? Well, it doesn't work anymore. I I know it doesn't work, but I don't I don't know what is it what can be done with it. I mean, I suppose it's, yeah, a risk either way. Um, so I'm either is, you know, I'm just a little bit hesitant about that. Um, some of you guys got some interesting stuff recently. Yeah, from, uh, from Zen. Oh, no, not from Zen. <laughs> I, you, you're carrying his sword. Oh, he meant this. And yeah. Talender has the skull that he was talking to. Do I have the skull? I yeah. do have the skull. Good. And that's what you guys have from Zinn. You guys have some interesting new stuff from Zinn. Do we want to maybe go fight some stuff? Maybe figure out, get used to some of this new stuff we have and try some things out? Yeah, um, I mean, if the you travel overlaid. Oh, sorry. It's going to be slow anyway, even with mounts. It's going to be longer, technically, than yeah, I think but... moving through. As quick as possible, we'd be smarter to get Lindak where he needs to go. Also, if we're fighting a lot, I mean, we're not going to be very fast yet either. <laughs> the only One of the only upsides I could see about taking this under Mountain Pass is we can move undetected, which we wouldn't be able to really do on the road. And especially the last time we traveled the road, Tilindra died from a gloomstalker, and there are also rocks that nest in the barbed fields. 
and rocks would not be a good thing to come across. But then we have yeah, demons I mean, underground that we have, have a to, chance to run into. We're going to have to run into them anyway at some point. Yeah. Which, bummer. Like that's more or less unavoidable anyway. Um, as for trying out items, I'm a, I'm not sure about this the this skull I have. It last time I touched it, it spoke to me. So well, maybe it might be best to have you know, Someone Mr. Would... Well-Learned Priest Boy have a look at it. That's know, actually a very good it. idea. Um, yeah, perhaps, yeah, perhaps um, before we leave, we could just talk to him quickly and, and see if he can make anything of it. Unless there's another um, magic user here. Have we seen any magic sort of shops or anything like that? No. Nope. Not in Jigao. Jigao is definitely not the kind of place that that would be a thing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. But if there's anybody that could probably resist, um, you mentioned there being like some type of pull with it, right? Something strange with that thing? It was, well, the fact that it was owned by Zinn and that it speaks is it's troubling. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it would be smart to make sure it's not um, evil before Ooh. trying to use it for any purpose. Yeah, I'm having second thoughts too, because um, our friend, he's also like one of the few people that can heal us up if any of us go down. Um, so I'd hate to put him in danger with, <laughs> with having him look at it. Oh. Well, uh, we can hold like on our, to it until we like get some. Aren't we planning on going to? Oh gosh, uh, Rosanna really after Bazozan. I know we were. Yeah, we were thinking about Rosanna. weren't we at one point going to visit our house that we own currently? In, that, is in, <laughs> that is in that is in Asarius. Yeah, <laughs> that, that wasn't the, the place I was yet. thinking of. Um, Rexentrum or something wasn't. Weren't we going to go to that like place? I don't know. Whatever. We can go to Rosanna and and see yeah, if there's, there's someone a, there. That yeah, there's a place. There's a place that we want to eventually go to. That's in the Empire, where near the crossroads. Yes. Uh, yeah. The ruins. The ruins of Shattengrad. Yeah. Because that's right. where the worms, that worm that walks called the saying, telling people to go. Yeah. Because it's south of Yasoa or whatever it is. Yeah. There were, yeah, I, I was thinking of, Eros, I think the, uh, the priest told us to go to that college, didn't he? That sort of magical college or something. He said the only people who would probably have knowledge of what happened to the beacon is at the Sol Solstice Academy, but he says he doesn't yes. recommend going there because those people are not great. Okay. And you guys encountered a mage from that place anyway. He chased you through the ruins of Malaysia. We don't right. want to fuck with that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Never mind then. All right, so we're holding on to this then until we get to a city? Yeah, yes. or you can try... Uh... We can make an attempt to figure out what it does, but at the temple, just in case. Uh, we could do that. I don't know. He, the priest we spoke to doesn't seem exactly like he is, uh, you know, the most capable. Like he's definitely, you know, I I don't know. I don't know if he is. I, I I don't know. This is does not seem like the sort of place where we would have like high level. Well, you can detect a restoration. So you can, so. and you can. Fuck, he would. Lindek wouldn't know. Ozean, that makes more sense. Uh, well, uh, I believe some spells that detect evil are first level spells. Oh, to detect evil, yes, we could certainly take it to for that. So do do we want to do that? Yeah. What time of day is it? <laughs> oh, uh, it is currently 10 a.m. Oh man, we were we were about to get start day, day drinking. drinking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Um, is there anything else? I know there were the other objects. Are they safe? Seeming? Do they seem safe? Uh, I think all of the stuff that I have written down is good to go 
I mean, unless uh, our our magic shopkeeper buddy in Rosana decided to give curse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then um, let's head to the to the um, temple. All right. We just came from the temple. I know, we <laughs> literally, literally just left the temple, yeah. yeah we were literally funny. just there. <laughs> we were having drinks in the tavern. We had a couple of drinks in the tavern, and that's when uh, mm -hmm. Oz Ozrian was like, you know, made himself known. So. Ozian. O Z I A. Ozian. 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 Sorry. How many funny. different ways can we pronounce? <laughs> yeah, I just gotta give him a different name in my head, like Ozone. There you go. Frozone. Yeah. Man, that's a good movie, by the way. <laughs> Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Knock, we're, knock, we're heading knock. off to the... Hey, we're back. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. Yep. I have to pull up his character sheet. Sure. For some reason, it's not saving any of his stuff. Okay, weird. They should ask. Yeah, I just... Oh, he already cast greater. How many times did he already cast greater restoration today, so... Yeah. Those slots are gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Boop, boop. Okay. Times, I guess. Keep track of that. Doop boop. Okay. So back in the temple. Do you make your way to his chambers? Yes. Can sure. you not like hang out in the? Uh, I don't know the gathering space. I don't know the. Yeah, sure. The, okay, yeah, he's gonna like find a pew or whatever they have a bench, <laughs> and he's gonna take the Little Mermaid statue, and he's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna focus on it. It's okay. Deep. Yeah, he's gonna focus on it. <laughs> he's gonna hum at it and stuff. Okay. To see if he can get reaction cool. out of it. Sure. The mermaid statue, you mean? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh right, because it has like a sound. Yeah, it's like humming and shit. So you can hook on to it. You hear it's like you hear like the mermaid song in your head. Yeah, I think he's like yeah. singing to it. <laughs> it doesn't. It's, it sings back, but it's the same song that it sings. Oh, do do all times. Oh, do do <laughs> Everything's better. Everything's better. Don't you me? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> you've been holding on to this thing for a bit, and you've been singing to it for a bit, right? Yeah, like off and on. But I'm this gonna... is like... Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you some more details. You might have, might, you're you're going to learn about it. Okay. Uh, so, while it's on your person, you gain advantage on saving throws to resist being charmed and gain a plus three bonus to initiative, which I've already told you. Okay. So I'll send you the two that you know of. So far. You're, 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 it's just, it's weird. It's like the song is giving you information on how to use this. Advantage on. I'm gonna post it in the group chat. Okay. Second throws. Advanced. Chopped. And the other effect that you've just learned <laughs> is once per day as a bonus action, you can choose up to six creatures that you can see. But with you, it's it's fine. Uh, within 100 feet, including yourselves. Mm -hmm. The chosen creatures feel a surge of inspiration and happiness come over them as they gain a plus three bonus to all ability checks and attack rolls for the next hour. Oh. Pretty good. I'll copy and paste that into my uh, custom item here. Oh, once per day. Nice, nice. Yeah, once per day. Bonus action. Six creatures, including yourself. Uh... Get plus three to ability checks and attack rolls for an hour, which is good. Nice. Uh, but yeah, those of you making your way to uh, Basha Des's little room, office? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, and uh, uh, did they make their pronouns known? Do we know what type of person uh, they are? He, him. Okay. And what race they are? Hobgoblin. Right, thank you. I knock on the door. Uh, come in. Open it up. Uh, hello again. Uh, 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 you guys weren't gone long. Uh, what's, no, we what's we we've thought of something we forgot to uh, ask. Of course. What's 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 the? Uh, we found this odd object. Um, we got strange sort of feelings from it. We wanted to see if you could look it over and tell us if it's dangerous. 
Uh, I will do my best. I take it out and I yeah. put it on. You take out this clearly like drow skull with an amethyst embedded in the forehead. Uh, and he's like, oh, uh, what exactly were you? I can't cast identify. I'm not that sort of. If, if you could just tell us if it's if it's evil, if oh, it's any kind of demon or anything like that. Yeah, I believe you said that there is a voice that came out of it. Oh, yes, I, I heard a voice when I um, held it for the first Where time. Where did you find this skull? Ah, uh, we f <laughs> we found it. Uh... An evil cult leader worshiping Walls. Ah, uh, do you really need me to, to cast a spell? Oh, what is it? It's which one are you looking at? What, what spell? Detect evil and good. Uh, I imagine whatever, uh, whatever entity's in there is probably evil. <laughs> he's going to cast it anyway. Okay. Uh, and it just says if, the, if an object has been magically consecrated or desecrated. Oh. Uh, and if, you know, if there's an aberration, celestial em elemental, fee, fey fiend, and undead nearby. Um, within 30 feet. Much more useful than the primeval awareness that rangers get. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, that skull is definitely desecrated, so I would say evil. Alright. That's sort of what I figured, but it's good to have it confirmed. Uh, is this something we should destroy? If you can find a way to destroy it, perhaps. Now, how are you holding the skull, Tandra? <laughs> I, well, last time I touched it, it talked to me, so I assumed I would have put something on my hands and moved it carefully like put some like you know some cloth we, cloth we or something cloth yeah. or cool something. We cloth put it in a bag cloth doesn't help anything um oh, so okay. you pick it up and you still hear the voice oh, okay. when you're touching it if you okay were, if, you had, I, if you, I you had it in a lead box it would be different but i had it, just moved it to the desk and just yeah so in that brief <laughs> second it's like ah you wish to speak to me again <laughs> you wish to speak <laughs> and then and yeah, yeah, that that uh, that uh, yeah, it got it's got an amethyst embedded in the forehead. Okay. Um. I have an idea. Yeah. That's not the skull, is it? <laughs> no. Um. Should I bap it? <laughs> bap. Uh, <laughs> bam. Bing bam. Uh, he is going to take out some holy water and powdered silver and throw it up in the air. Just... Uh, and he's going to cast... He's just a, a glitter bomb with yeah. glue attached? Uh, he's like gonna, that salt guy? That... He's going to cast protection from evil and good on himself. No. One willing creature. Uh, who wants to talk to the skull? Uh... uh... <laughs> um, I... Cool. I... What are we wise? Uh, I'm gonna cast a spell on you so if it so it can't possess you, just in case that's one of its abilities. Okay, I suppose I'll. I'll I can talk to it as well, but it'll be you'll be hearing a one way conversation. I I suppose I'll, I'll I can I can speak to it. All right, so for ten minutes you'll be safe from this kind of stuff, and you cast protection from evil and good on you. Okay. So for ten minutes you um you're protected against aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Uh, creatures of these, those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against you, but this is a skull. Uh, and you can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by these creatures. Uh, and if you have been already charmed, frightened, or possessed by such a creature, the target has advantage on any new saving throw. Anyways. He gets protection you from evil and good on you. He's like, uh, now I think you should be able to commune with this thing safely. I'm not sure. Alright, let's see what this thing does. I reach out and touch it. Ah, there we are. Hello. Hello. Uh, I don't believe I have your name. Ravianess. Ravianess. Yes. Um, and what is it exactly that you want? Uh, to fulfill my mistress's bidding. Ah, who and who is your mistress? Loth. Ah, I see. I believe you were um, acquainted with my cousin. Yes. I was going to say it's a shame he's dead, but it really isn't. Ah, uh, yes. What exactly were you doing for, for him? Uh, I, I am sort of a 
device of communion, he was speaking to Loth directly through me. And I he was see. using me to teleport. To teleport? Yes. How, how exactly do you teleport? How far can you teleport? Oh, it functions very similar to the spell. <laughs> but you can only teleport yourself while holding the skull. No one else. All right. Um, very interesting. <laughs> you have me uh, in a temple, it would seem. Yes, this is a temple. To the Luxon. Hmm. Very interesting. I suppose it is. Can you tell me, my cousin was doing experiments. Do you know anything about these? Of course. But why would I tell you? Fair enough. <laughs> no, your relations, of course. It was my cousin, after all. <laughs> um... You feel this weird kind of sensation in your head, but it passes. You feel like the spell that Beishadez cast on you prevented whatever just the, sk the skull just tried doing. Yeah, nice try. It just tried possessing you. <laughs> ah, you are great. protected. Smart. Yeah, well, I'm not that stupid, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't suppose you're going to tell me much about his behavior, uh, his actions. I could. What exactly is it you would want for this information? Good question. As you can see, I am just a skull. But my essence is housed inside of this gem. I am speaking to you from this gem. I see. If you could find it in your heart to reunite this gem and skull with my body, I would be most appreciative. And where exactly is your body? It is buried with all of my mistress's servants who served her well. Past uh, the Umbra gates underneath Bazozan. Oh, I see. There is... Something there Zin wanted, but he never got it. What exactly is it he wanted? The source of those crystals, the Voidite. What created them? He never found out. I know. That is where they first came to be. Do you... Do you how much do you know about these crystals? Everything. They were around when I was alive. That's when they were first made during the Calamity. What What exactly are you? A spirit. Housed inside of this gem by the means of magic. When you were alive, what were you? Exactly what you are. Hmm. A bard. <laughs> Ling, 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 ling. You play violin too. <laughs> uh, I'm running out of things to ask. Does anyone have anything they specifically want to know? So you guys are only uh, hearing to Linda's side. I'm only hearing one side yeah. of this. So, um, <laughs> I can I, I just like ex give them a, a quick explanation. Yeah. Okay. I'll take my hands away. Give them a quick explanation. Okay. I don't. I'm not going to role play that. It's a long. Oh mm -hmm. boy, that sounds bad. Yeah, and, uh, it's probably a good thing to not go down. <laughs> or he's gonna maybe take we want to go down too. If... And he's going to take his crowbar out and go, BAH! <laughs> uh, you're hitting the skull with the crowbar? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the crowbar dents, but the skull is undamaged. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's worth a shot. Yeah, there's like a flash of purple light when it hits, and the crowbar just goes, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I didn't know I was that strong to bend crowbar. <laughs> oh, look at me. There it is. <laughs> Too bad he not going here so, to see that. <laughs> this skull knows of the... of how Voidite is created. That's interesting. Flames, anyway. It you all are familiar with Voidite? That's interesting. I've only read about it in uh, texts uh, regarding the Calamity. 
Yeah, we've uh, uh, we've been uncomfortably intimate with. Uh, uh, we've had some unfortunate moments. I might yeah. need to mount an expedition down there to destroy it if that's where it's manufactured. If you're going to do that, be very careful. In our experiences with it, we're not. Oh, I'd pleasant. be hiring people to do it. I wouldn't be going down there personally. No. Well, well, whoever I mean, you hire should hire. be careful because the last we're... thing they want is this to become the new Rosanna. Hey, we're up for hire, right? Five hundred gold. <laughs> A thousand. Yeah, yeah, that sounds. Yeah. We'll have to talk, speak with our friend. But... Oh right, yeah, we we're gonna have to talk it over with him. Cause... Index like uh, I'm in. Oh, uh, Enoch isn't here. This nope. Is... <laughs> Ozian is though. <laughs> He did take a disguise. Yeah, I can't true. remember who he disguised himself as, but he just he's not he's not currently just a doppelganger hanging out. Oh, that's good. He turned into <laughs> I forget who he turned into last session. Oh, he turned into he turned into Gravel and turned back into himself, so he's actually still a doppelganger. Uh don't mind uh, him. Well 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 in order for him to keep up appearances, I probably would have given him uh Gravel's appearance. I'm still dressed as bootstrap. Right, so he's still disguised as Gravel then. Okay. It's very strange. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he's like, uh, if you, yeah. yeah, if you're willing to go down there and learn what you can about the manufacturing process, I will pay you handsomely. I believe this is the material that caused the destruction of the firmament and the lucid bastion. So if it can be put to a... just yeah, dealt I with. mean, we almost got completely cleaned out from our illnesses that you thankfully helped us. Uh straighten out so right we are uh we are looking for coin so and he's got a lot of money now <laughs> uh i can give you one thousand a thousand gold uh for doing this and i have contacts in all around your house you can just talk to one of them and they can commune with me and i can ensure your payment is given all right all right uh, yeah, let's go talk to Enoch. Man, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing we spoke to the skull, actually. Yeah. Maybe don't speak to it anymore, though. I I don't plan on it. It definitely tried to take over my mind. Yes, the spell the spell I cast only lasts for ten minutes. Yeah. Yes. Gonna have to have uh, Enoch give it a nice bap with his sword. I don't know. We'll find something to do with it. Yeah. Anything else? <clears throat> uh, we'll actually be right back. We're just gonna ask you now. Oh, or you can join us. We're just gonna sure. Go talk he to stands you up. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, all right. Okay, we gotta, I we haven't gotta really gotten around to doing much of anything since you left because it wasn't that yeah. long ago. So, <laughs> let me follow you, know, you guys. Yeah, you because know, vibe into the statue. You learn another effect that I can do. Oh, Enoch. Uh, yeah. What? What? In uh, we have. Oh, no, to see. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Uh, we Sorry. have sort of a a job offer, so to speak. Uh-huh. Well, we were considering, you know, going down the into those. What were they? Tunnels. Yeah, tunnels slash tombs underneath Basil Zan. Yeah, we were considering going that way, and um, we found out that there might be something worth investigating down there. Uh, it might be the cause of the Voidite. What? Like this? And he takes out the sword. The priest just goes, put that away. Oh. But he puts yes. it away. But yes. I mean, I guess it's a reason to go down there, right? It, it does. Also, he's offering a thousand gold, so that's that's another. Well, we need money at this point, so. Uh, um. Pouch full. Ching ching ching. I what mean, about, uh... if you if we need gold and we have a task, then I think we should we should do it. Yeah. Um. The thing did say that it wanted to be reunited with its body, and its body was down there. Are we potentially bringing, are we, are we potentially bringing this into a situation where? Absolutely, but 
we also know that Void Eye pretty much destroys everything. That's true. So? To the priest. Hello. I'm... Hi. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little concerned about bringing the skull down here. Do you think that's safe? And if, if not, could we potentially leave it here where it might be safer? Uh, no, don't you don't it. want it here, under, understandably. <laughs> it, it seemed to know where it was, so yeah. I would... And I don't know if, if it can, can communicate with Lolth. I don't want it telling Lolth more details about our establishment. Fair enough. What if we get a contrapment well, we do to have keep this, it in? We do have this leather box. A lead does box, fit, yeah. Does it fit in the leather box? Lead, lead. box? It, it was a lead box. Oh, lead. Sorry, that's what I meant. <laughs> Uh, lead would negate its abilities. That's what lead does to magic. Okay, put it in there. Yeah, but is is it the right size to put it in? Yeah. Okay, I do wait, that. Wait, you yeah, talk it's, to it's, it. The skull's a little smaller than the beacon, and the beacon was inside this lead box. Oh okay. yeah, Enoch. Uh, yeah, we had uh, we had our buddy here um, uh, put a little uh, spiritual mumbo jumbo on Talindra, and uh, she was able to safely. Uh, get some information out of it. Can you do that again? I could. Uh, how long has it been? Since it's, I wanna, it's been. Time. I want to talk to it for a second, if that's all right. Uh, let me see if I have. It's a first level spell. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Uh, sure. And he touches a hand on Enoch and casts protection from evil and good. Okay. He's gonna touch the skull. Ah, you're a big one. <laughs> yes. What would you like to ask of me? Um, you, you were Zen's property, right? I, he was more like mine. Okay. That flayed Goliath in there. Ah, Ogar. Yes. Did Zen take him? Did he show up on his own? He was taken. And then you feel From... a weird, you feel like a weird sensation in your head. But it's like then it gets blocked by whatever the spell is that the priest has on you. So you just try possessing Enoch now. All right. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You. He was taken. Did you take him directly from a village? Or did. Yes. All right. Is there a reason why you did that? so far away from where we are or where you were no was he the only one yes it was just for fun from what I gather do you know anything else about any happenings with the goliaths and the mountains which mountains the Sirius. I could. Four. Use me to commune with my mistress, and we will find out. <laughs> How would I do that? Simple. Just ask a question while holding on to me, and focus on my mistress. All right. He are, you will... do... are, you, are you doing it? Mm -hmm. Okay. We hear, how would I do that? And all of us just, like, our buttholes pucker. <laughs> when we hear you He's hard to the group. That. He's just like. <laughs> no, he's keeping okay. a straight face or attempting to keep a straight face. He's trying to keep his. You have to attune to me first. Oh, well, that takes a long time. I can't do that. With me, it's instantaneous. I'm gonna roll something really quick. Okay. Make a roll for your knock. Okay. He focuses on attuning to the skull. Okay. It happens instantaneous. Uh, and you can add the skull of malice, tender <laughs> item, to your. Actually, no, don't add it because it has information okay. you won't know. Okay. Uh, 
But while holding it, you can cast Commune once per day and speak directly to Lolth. And you can also cast Teleport once per day through the skull, but you can only teleport yourself and nobody else. Man, if we would have given that to uh, <clears throat> Lindek, no. he could have just gone to Bassus and we could right. have Ritz on that. <laughs> so, for a moment, he's going to focus and he's going to commune. Lindek wouldn't take it because it's for Lolth. Yeah, he's going to commune with fucking Lolth. Okay. Hello, child. You're new. Who is speaking to me? You knocked the fractured. You are fractured, aren't you? Would you like yes. to be whole? Eventually. What do you ask of me, child? The... Do you know what's happening to the Goliaths within the Seer's Mountains? Alrighty. You're casting commune with another deity and not your own. Yup. She gonna be pissed. This is gonna be fun. Alright. Uh, alright. Because of how commune works. Yes. And you see an image of the mountains. And not as many Goliaths up there anymore. Like they've disappeared some of them keep disappearing. And there's like a brief glimpse of what looks like frog spawn in a pool. And that's it. You have two more questions. Do you want to ask them? Uh, They're yes or no, correct? Yes or no, but if a one-word answer could be misleading or contrary to the deity's interest, you could get a short phrase or an, as an answer instead. Do you know what those frog things are? Yes. And there's another image of them being put inside of Goliaths. And a brief image of blood splatter and one crawling out of the chest cavity of a Goliath. Is that happening now? It's been happening for a while. And the spell ends. Enoch, everything all right? Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um. Forgive me. And he's going to teleport. Okay. We're to two. his home. Okay. All right. I'm looking at the mechanics for the teleport with the skull. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, huh. Alright. Very familiar. You're very familiar. <laughs> so, I rolled a 94, so you are on target. Pfft. Everyone take your headphones off, so, bro, uh, oh, turn right. over and gravel. Um, um, we just message how do I do that? I'll just do this. Oh, okay, um, so I'll. Okay. Or I'll message Sorry, you. I don't know how to. I'm just, not sure how to. Just, just take, mute your, it? take your headphones out. I don't have any headphones. Just, just mute it. Just mute, mute it then. Yeah. I think you just mute yourself the ones that you can't mute people. <laughs> Turn your volume down. I might just, <laughs> I might just message the group. Um, but you up here at the top of the Sirius Mountains. Mm -hmm. 
and your village is. It is. Yeah, you can do this once a day, by the way. So you can teleport back to your friends, but you'd have to wait a day. Um, wait, yeah. A lot of tents look like they've been abandoned. They're, they're full of holes. Uh, but there is a smell of roasting meat from the center of your, like it's the center of your Goliath's settlement, mm -hmm. uh, and there are like you can see two Goliaths kind of sat at the fire roasting something, but not as not nearly as many Goliaths as uh, you're used to seeing. Okay, um, he's gonna approach. Okay, they. Turn, Enoch. Yes. Uh, what happened to you? <laughs> um, a lot. I um. <sighs> Have you heard the voices too? Is that why you're here? No. Oh. What voices are you uh, hearing? A voice has been coming to us in our sleep now for a while, compelling us to go out and hunt creatures in these mountains. Uh, and those Goliaths haven't returned. We think they're going to go higher in the mountain to be with the leader of our herd. How many are here? Six. There were 30. Right. I think we need to... <laughs> They're not being led to... They're not being led up. They're being harvested. What do you mean? They're being used to create these entities the like frog things that doesn't seem right oh it is that's why I've returned if that's true we can't fight these things we're not fighters then all the fighters have been taken then we need to get you any others that you know of out off the mountains for now they probably won't come some of their children and loved ones are the ones that have gone up <laughs> alright and you say they're heading out where do you know exactly to the tallest peak <clears throat> they kind of point to it one that's concealed by snow and everything right I'm gonna make. I'm gonna stay here for the night. And then what? I have to go again. But I need to see that some of you are safe. We are, but every night the dreams take another. <laughs> Get as many as you can to leave. I can't do much by myself. I have others that can help, but I had to see this. Oh, well, bring them this way then. I, I will, as soon as I can. All right. Where will you be going? <laughs> far, far to over, beyond another set of mountains to the far east. Jorhas. Jorhas. Okay. Just when I go, try to try to leave for now. I will meet you at the base of the mountains if you're there. If not, then I will come to you as soon as I can. Okay, well. Feel free to stay the night again, I guess. All right. 
He's gonna go to his family's tent. Okay, yeah, it's it's empty. And he's going to I say strip, but not really strip, you know, like take his armor off, get down to the bare minimum, find potentially any kind of clothes that would probably fit him. Okay. And he's going to stay awake and he's going to walk about and try to see if he could find any clues or hints of anything maybe one of them wrote something or left a any kind of any kind of things he's going to try to find any clues if not he doesn't think he's going to find anything but it's just in case he don't find any clues but yeah he'll be spending the day doing that and <laughs> shitting himself because he left his friends. Okay. He would have left a skull in like the center of the tin as well. Okay. Yeah, the skull comes with you. So. Yep. Figured. Okay. So, uh, those of you still in the chat will just see Enoch. Uh, oh, shit. <sighs> Um, I'm going to panic and cast a uh, locate creature, which uh, is almost certainly going to fail. What's the distance it's duration? It's a thousand feet. Oh yeah, or a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. Feet. He's yeah, it fails. Uh, the priest looks around. Do you want me to contact your friend? I have the spending spell. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. What are we gonna say? Uh, Where are you? It's an option. Yeah, How many yeah. words do we have? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. I mean, what's it? What's it gonna matter, right? We don't need. If we knew where he was, we can't get where to where he is anyway. I mean, if we, we had to teleport, if it felt like you had to teleport, it's far away. So maybe we should, because he can use that, right? You said he could use it once a day. I don't, that was that was DM speaking that so I don't think you guys know that it's oh, I thought, I thought, no I you, thought you said, said it to me to I yeah. would have told them okay that. Yeah, yeah, once a day I, yeah. uh, I mean your spell won't work on him in a bit so if he tries to use it again oh yeah at this point it wouldn't it's no yeah uh, I it's no longer on him at this point now anyway wait what you just cast what you just cast it on him Okay. Right? Sure. I Oh, there must have been some time that happened during when you were Never mind. This is like right after Enoch. In, Enoch leaves, so no. It's still on him then. Okay. Uh so well, I don't I mean Yeah, that that is good information ask him where he is. Uh if I imagine we both we both know we've been around him a while. We know where he probably went, right? So much of the mountain. Sneaking suspicion. Yeah. And Linda goes, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's pretty much all he ever talked ever talked about, other than, you know. I think, uh, Mr. Priest, you should ask if he's coming back too. If we should just wait for him to come back tomorrow. But will he? Oh, right. Can that's he? why the message is that's why we're asking if he has yeah. a skull he can come right back if he's not possessed if well yeah I mean he might not come back exactly as Enoch for all we know I could if, if that's so we'll the case be... I can cast a spell and remove whatever's possessing I can all right, cast uh, ask I can, him. I can cast it again alright where are you should we wait here okay you. Is, is there anything else? A third level spell slot. I have 25 uh, words. I can't fit a lot into this. Yeah. No, I mean, where are you? Are you coming back? Should we wait? Uh, yeah, should we wait? That's 10 words. Um, don't get yourself killed, dummy. I'll figure something out. I don't. I don't want to call anyone dummy. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna cast sending. So 
So Enoch, you hear these words in your head. It's the priest. Where are you? Are you coming back? Should your friends wait? That wasn't wise. Don't get possessed. I went home. I'm coming back. Wait for me. I know. Uh, he said he's coming back. Wait for him. He knows. All right. I guess he knows what he's doing. Right. Anybody feel like having a real stiff drink right now? I don't drink. Uh, I was supposed to stay here in my temple. All right. Thank you for your help. You've been immensely helpful. It's uh, not even 11 a.m. <laughs> no. Yeah. Maybe, sure feels uh, a lot later than that. <laughs> maybe we hit the road tomorrow if that's when Enoch's going to come back. Best of luck. If he is and he's possessed, uh, I could break it, but... Hopefully we can... Um, hopefully, hopefully it won't come to that. We'll see, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, well. well well we can't really do anything about it now <laughs> um is there anything else we can do here while we wait I mean I think we've kind of done everything drink <laughs> yeah drink I suppose could use it uh but just so because this is a shorter game and I don't want anyone, anyone being left out uh a day passes uh you all get the benefits of a long okay. rest in case you need one. The priest gets one too. That's <laughs> good. So we can get a spell slot. Oh back. boy! <laughs> I love this guy already. He's useful. He's nice. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. He's polite. He won't call me a dummy, even though I do it's, dummy things. Uh, it was, it was, it was uh, the friendship dummy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like the one that you use when you punch <laughs> someone on the shoulder. But it also makes sense. Stop that, a dummy. It also makes sense that Enoch would do it. So. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. But totally. uh, morning comes too, and Enoch, you wake up with a weird feeling in your tent, uh, but you get a feeling. You can probably use the skull again. This time you're going to have to be a little more careful. Yep. Are there... Sorry, just someone... Does someone... One of the Goliaths go missing? Uh, yes, there's five left in camp. Fuck. He is going to stress that they leave. He's okay. going to stress that again. And he's going to fucking grab the skull. And he is going to... Where are we going? He wants to focus on the temple of like this. Um, he wants to focus on that exact spot in that temple that he was using the mermaid statue with. Okay. So the temple in Jigal. Are we going that exact to spot. reunite my this? <clears throat> Jesus. Are we going to reunite me with my body? If you take me there, I'll do that for you. You guys sense he's not trying to possess you then. Uh, all right. How familiar are you? So this is once a day for the skull. How familiar are you with this temple? <laughs> it's going to be a man hunt. So, because you could, you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teleport spell can be real fun. Uh, so you've, you're not very familiar I'll say you viewed this place once. <laughs> it's true. That makes sense. It's true. 73. You're off target. Okay. Uh, so you don't get you don't get the force damage from mishap though. Um, okay. So poof, you teleport, oh. and poof, you're outside, and it's very windy. You're about 80 feet off the ground on top of the temple. On the roof, Ooh. like on one of the spires. He's gonna tuck the skull into his pouch. Mm -hmm. um. There's a window right here. <laughs> He's gonna. Is it open? Yeah. He's gonna 
<laughs> throw itself <laughs> into the window. Okay. You land in Beshades's little private room, like his bedroom. Not his office, but this is his bedroom. And he's currently laying in bed. And he's like, <gasps> looking around. Don't worry, it's me. No. Protection from evil and good. <laughs> All right. Uh, your friends are at the inn. Hey, thank you. Sorry. And he kind of pats him on the head as he leaves. Okay. It's like 6 a.m., so he's just like, Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go back to sleep now. All right, good night. Oh. Freaking weirdo. <laughs> and you all wake up in the tavern. So Lindak, Talindra, Gravel. Ozian's like, I think I'm going to do a different disguise today. And he just turns into like a very rotund looking human farmer. Oh, there you go. Very good. Oh, wait. Very unassuming. Not human. He turns into a bugbear. A very fat bugbear. How about this? No, it looks fine. Uh, even more, I'm assuming, considering the uh, yeah. environment. Uh, okay. We better go try to find our friend. If he's back at the temple. If he's, if he's back. Mm. Oh, well, hey, since we're going under the tunnels, uh, I guess I can help you guys out. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Not like with it. navigating, because like, like I said, I only know my way to the entrance of the Underdark, but like I can fight and stuff. Are we saying this? Are we like having this conversation over like breakfast or something? Yeah. Cool. Like I can, I can fight. I'm really sneaky if I need to be, and I'm good at ambushing. Right. Yeah, that that would be very useful. I'm very good at decep deception, and I'm very insightful, and <laughs> I can't be charmed. Hey, oh, oh that's very a good. Plus. Uh, basically, uh. And I can read surface thoughts, so that could be good against people who might be conspiring to kill you. Do, do you have um, combat abilities as well? I can fight. I don't know what you'd call combat abilities. Well, like, uh, do you use weapons, or do you... Nope. No? Okay. Just don't with need your to. Don't bare need hands? To. Don't need to. Use my bare hands. <laughs> well, that... <laughs> Shit! Basically, uh... <laughs> yeah. If they surprise, they they're built on ambushing and surprising doppelgangers. So they're real fun. Okay. Uh, so, given the type of inn slash or and or tavern that we're bunked up in, what kind of breakfast food do we have? Spider meat. Anything else? Weird fish. Okay. Good support town. It's like it's spider meat because that's what that's a delicacy in Jorhas is spiders. But loth worshipping drought don't eat spiders. Um, and Any eggs or pastries? No. Not here. You don't have spider eggs. You wouldn't want to eat those. <laughs> That'd be really gross. Just fish and uh, yeah, spider meat. Maybe the occasional like rat. You know. A part of me is kind of looking forward to going back to the Empire. <laughs> they they actually had different meals for for the time of day. The Underdark's I, fun. We have lots of fun food down there. I have rations if you if you'd prefer. No, we already paid for this. <laughs> oh, right. Fair enough. <laughs> or it came with the room or whatever. It came with the room, yeah. <laughs> Which oh, reminds me, everyone take five silver out of your currency. Excellent. Thank you. Except Lindak, or Enoch, because Enoch was elsewhere. Oh, so I should remove... Uh, shit, what's the... So five silver, and then I'm going to remove ten copper. Because Lindak only had four silver. Right. So that <laughs> oh oh so that means uh, if I have eighty gold, that means I'll have seventy nine gold and five copper. Yep. Or five silver. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I 
minus one gold plus five silver. And this was a this was the rotting tusk, and it is a what it's a um, hostel. Ah. So it's a tavern slash hostel. So everyone cool. you sleep in the same room as strangers. Well. So, we when you guys are eating breakfast, someone's like, Oh, I thought you guys were with a gnome. Gesturing at your table, because now Ozian is a bugbear. Uh, yeah, he, he skipped town. Didn't want to pay the bill. Oh, I hate those kind of people. Yeah. And the, this bugbear walks away. Okay, yeah, this is Goblinoid Settlement. Goblins and orcs, so. Ozian's like, I didn't think about that. Don't worry, I'm proficient in deception, too. So am I. <laughs> um, so we should go find your friend, see if he's maybe back at the temple. Yeah, I mean, Definitely. who knows when he'll get here. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this to go. Yeah, drinks the last of, like, shugs <laughs> the hot coffee. Oh. Just, like, <laughs> shoveling spider meat. In it's, the, the coffee is strangely viscous, like syrup. Oh, God. Oh, gross. <laughs> so you go to chug it, and... You're just waiting. It's just... Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Nasty. Uh, can I get a... Can I get a shot of whiskey in this? Oh, <laughs> you want goblin whiskey? No, no, like... Like, just whiskey. It's fine. <laughs> we have goblin whiskey. <laughs> so you got whiskey. All right, let's take it. <laughs> and as soon as he pops the cork, it's like pungent burning your nostril hairs, and he dumps like maybe just a shot. <laughs> oh, that's three shots then. <laughs> oh boy. How much do I owe you? Uh one gold. Gee whiz. <laughs> now it's kind of loosened up a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like someone poured water into gravy. So it's just like chunks floating around. That's right, so I'll gross. Stir I'll, stir it up. <laughs> I'll stir it up. I'm aiming for like you know the uh, Irish coffee, it's, it's, the, you it's, know whiskey and coffee type mixture. Yeah, sure. And I imagine it's it's like an Irish coffee, but with the cheapest coffee and the cheapest whiskey <laughs> ever. Uh, it there's no taste to the whiskey. It's just burn. Yeah. Which is terrible. But at least it lightened up the texture. <laughs> uh, do you know how we make it? We brew it in. Hollowed out. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's fine. It's fine. No, I don't care. It's fine. I don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Right. Let's find him. Let's go. So, you guys walk out of the rotted tusk. Yeah. And Enoch, <laughs> are you walking out of the temple? Probably, yeah. You see Enoch walking out of the temple. Oh, thank God. Uh, uh how are you doing? Right. Um... I'm I'm here. Where's the skull? Oh right. Uh it's in the bag. Um, by the way, know. I'm insight checking this entire interaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. Any yeah. signs of uh you know ditto. D -d 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 -ditto. Make insight checks. You know you don't need to roll anything, because yeah. <laughs> I just want to know if he's possessed. Like that's the main. That, oh, um, I get rolled yeah. an eighteen. I got a, I got a twenty-four. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, so... Get the box. Get the box. Get the box. Get the box. Hurry! Yeah, hurry! Box. Yeah. Where, put this go. where are you? Why? Wisdom saving the box. throw. Because <laughs> okay. he, he is aware of what's starting okay. to happen. Now. All right. That's a eleven. Okay. Do I get any? Can I tell that anything's happening at all? Nope. Okay. <laughs> this is this is a thing you can't tell is happening. All right. Uh, uh -oh. Let me just see because you still got the mermaid figurine on you. I don't remember if that I said if that doesn't do anything for saving throws. Let me check. Uh, you have advantage roll again. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because possession tech. Fuck. Charm. Thirteen. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. 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 
Enoch, everything to you just goes dark. And here we were trying to get everybody back in to play the game. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> uh, and Enoch kind of looks at you all and smiles. I imagine my insight check is starting to, like, my yes. spider sense is going off. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, man, unless the restoration can't cure this, because it's... it's yeah, it has yep. to be greater. He's just like, well, this is interesting. Uh, I'm going to throw out a little ball from the tan bag of tricks. I'm just going to drop it onto the ground behind me. Okay. Roll for it. Okay. <laughs> it's a D8. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Three. So that's a, a baboon. <laughs> yeah, a baboon hops out. Just... Um, I, I, w- <laughs> I, I would want to try to dispel magic to see if Everyone that does roll anything. Initiative. That includes you, you know. Okay. Oh, and he gets the plus three too. Yeah, you get a plus three, Enoch. Oh yeah. Oh, that is a. Okay, give me one second. I gotta, I, I gotta build an encounter. I guess. <laughs> uh, Sorry, we got almost it. took a turn. Yeah, man. If you would have just not put the skull in the box, you would have been okay. <laughs> is he still holding the skull right now? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Good thing he's already used the teleportation today. Yeah, jeez. Yup. Or else otherwise he'd be fucking yawn. Bye. 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 <laughs> that would be like Enoch done, essentially. It's rough. Teleport him into, into lava or something. I'm just going to end mean... this encounter. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, I got to add a baboon to this encounter, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a CR0. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ozian got a 14. What did the baboon get? Hey, man. It's got pack tactics. <laughs> uh, Tan Mega Tricks. Uh, I can't remember if. You no, know, it acts on its own initiative, so yeah, roll for the baboon. Oh, nice. It has its own initiative of uh, 17 plus. It's 2. 19. So it's got 19. Two. Yeah, 19. Wow. Uh, oh, man. What is happening? Okay, Lindex needs to roll initiative, too. Oh, God. Good stuff. I love this kind of stuff. This is fun. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Patient S is inside. You guys are... T- right at the start of the day, man. <laughs> yep. You're going to lose all your hit points at the start of the uh, day. All Lindak. of us. <laughs> Lindak Great got a six. Fucking... Gravel, what'd you get? I got an eight. Enoch. Uh, 19. Cool. You can just sit back because I am controlling Enoch now. Uh, Tilindra. I also uh, rolled a 19. Okay, I'm going to put Enoch on an 18, just to, so I can track this initiative, because, uh, yeah, because you're... My dex is poop, so... Yeah. Oh, wait. Man, three Hold people on. have 19. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put Enoch at 17. I'm going to put Tilindra at eight at 19, and the baboon will be at 18, because, yeah, okay. it doesn't Because Tilindra things. has more than plus two dex? Yes. Okay. I have plus four. Yeah. All right. So, Enoch walks out of the temple doors... And as Enoch walks to the temple doors, he, he's trying to put the skull into the lead box, and then he just stops doing that. And then you hear the voice of the skull come out of Enoch, saying, oh, well, this is interesting. Talendra, you're first. Enoch so is I about did... a good 40 feet away. 40 feet away? Well, that's actually close from it for a hospital. I, I did uh, say... Like this... I did say to spell magic. Am I locked into that? Can I change that? Uh, You can change that. Okay. I would like to do a, a Tasha's Hideous Laughter on Enoch. Okay. This is going to be fun. I get to play Enoch. Um, uh, so that's a wisdom of 16. Now, is that considered a charm spell? Um, I don't think it is, but I'll check. Because, yeah, Enoch's going to have some fun little stuff going on because of the skull and the mermaid statue. I don't. It doesn't say anywhere that is charm. Not that I can see. I'm going to Google something. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, a charm. That is a popular search. It is not a charm spell. Okay. So that's a wisdom save with advantage. Mm-hmm. No, not with advantage. Yeah. Eight. Okay. So 
He's laughing. Oh, wait. He's not using Enoch's mental acuity anymore because he's possessed by the skull, so he's using this, the sentient skulls uh, stuff. Okay. So... That's... Hold on. Well, it has a lower wisdom than Enoch by one, though. So, yeah, it's an eight. So, incapacitated he, and prone. So, he's incapacitated. Does he drop the skull as he falls? Yeah, but doesn't nothing really changes. He's been possessed. The spirit of That's the skull okay. is now just... inside Enoch. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, and then I'll, I'll just... Hey. Ins- <laughs> Who's here? So, I'm here, Gravel's here. You, and... Gravel, Lindek, the baboon... Ozean. Yeah, we gotta we gotta haul okay. for Vey. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, uh, sorry. It's <laughs> the problem with going first. <laughs> um. I am. Go- I, I. I will give a mantle of inspiration to. Actually, no. You know what? I'm not gonna do that because I don't know that because he's you know laughing i i will instead inspire um i'm gonna inspire gravel okay why not so you have a 1d8 all righty yeah uh but the funny thing is because of enoch's little mermaid statue <laughs> uh man i gotta like juggle weird stuff right now hold on uh but because he's within 100 oh he didn't pick six creatures never mind so that's that effect's not happening didn't get a chance to use his bonus action. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, the baboon's turn. It wasn't commanded, so it's just chilling. Yep. Enoch's turn. End of Enoch's turn. Wisdom save. Uh, 19. So, no longer incapacitated and prone. But it, but right. still prone. Yes. Because that was at the end yes. of his turn. Correct? No longer incapacitated, so no longer under the effects of Tasha's hideous laughter. That brings us to Ozian. <laughs> It's like, uh, should I hit him? Try to knock him out? Can any of us speak? You got like one quick second to respond. Yeah, see if you can knock him out. Okay, <laughs> runs over. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say he's he's surprised. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, so... This guy gets his ambush or trait, which is advantage on the attack roll, and an extra 3d6. So, he's just gonna... <laughs> two punches. Uh, the first one is a 18 to hit, which hits. I could only hope you allow me to do that as a bugbear. <laughs> uh, the next campaign. I'm ruling it here just because it's... Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. It's rough. Uh, yeah. Alright, so... That'll be... Six bludgeoning damage to Enoch, which I am also tracking. Plus the additional 3d6 from the first attack because of ambush. Uh, and I'm 10 additional damage. Then the second attack because he gets 2 with advantage because of prone. Uh, 16. 16 does not hit, I believe. Nope. Gravel. Oh, it's my turn. Yep. I'm going to shout at the top of my lungs. Uh, hey, we need you. He's at the top of the tower sleeping. Anyway, he shouted as loud as he could. Let's do a perception check with disadvantage because he's sleeping. Okay. Um, and then, uh. Yeah, I guess, uh... <sighs> yeah, Gravel's gonna go up to where Enoch is, and, uh... Kinda... He's not gonna be terribly nice about it. Um... But he's gonna beat him with the fucking palm of the short sword. Okay, advantage to get sneak attack. Yeah. Alright. And yeah, because you're attacking technically another player, I do want all rules public. Yeah. Uh, cool. That's a 26 to hit. 26 definitely hits. Um, and let's do... Yeah, the sneak attack, which is a good sneak attack. 16 plus... Um, 
16 plus 9. Okay. That's 25. All right. 25 damage. Anything else? Uh, with... Oh, shit. What am I going to do? Um... What what's in the environment around us? Uh, people anything walking around, feet? going like, "What the fuck?" Anything within thirty feet? People, barrels, crates. Uh, are we still right in front of the church or the temple? Uh, if you run up to Enoch, yeah. Yeah. If you okay. run up to Enoch, yeah. you're directly I mean, outside. I was of the I was already run up. You're directly up outside, the outside the temple. Okay. So, how much of my movement did I use to get up to all of it? And oh, okay. Well then. I just have a bonus action. Uh, so. <laughs> Enoch. I'm going to tell the baboon to. <laughs> to um, beat the shit out of Enoch. 1d4 uh, minus 1. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It needs, uh, it needs to roll like a. 16 to hit 16 plus one Oof. yeah and i but he has advantage yeah he will have advantage because oh, he's gonna run up to us but i'm gonna <laughs> tell him to to beat enoch uh um non-lethally okay but just take his little baboon paws and just smash him right. <laughs> uh i guess lindak's turn then uh <laughs> lindak is just gonna run up and just put the pommel of his sword as well uh two attacks with advantage so i never roll well for lindak though okay publicly yep Bacow. natural 20 <laughs> <laughs> all right uh and he is one-handing it because he's got a shield on yep so one-handing it's so a 2d8 plus four wait what are longswords 2d8? No, it's 1d8. Why is his 2d8? Why would it be? That's yeah, the, yeah it, it, there's no reason for it to be 2d8. I'm looking. <laughs> Unless he's got a special sword, but I don't believe he does. This is so weird. I'm trying to figure that. Yeah, hold on. It automatically does it. It automatically computes. Oh, that's why it's a crit. That's why. Oh, yeah. That There we go. I got confused. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, okay, there we go. It's back to normal. 16 damage for the first one. Oh, Enoch's looking rough. <laughs> and then the second attack, poof, because he gets two. And then maybe an action surge if I need to. <laughs> Advantage. Come on, another nat 20. Let's go. Almost. That was a 9, 1, and 19, so 26 to hit. Four. How much? Seven damage. Wow, I'm doing... I hardly roll good for Lindak. Ever. And during this, he's rolling good. And then we're going to go for an action surge to do... Poof, poof, two more. Uh, so, mark off action surge. Oh, welcome back, buddy. <laughs> Just covered in, like, welts. Beating uh, the shit out of me. Well, not getting unconscious is one step... You're... You still have to, like, get rid of the possession. Uh, all right. Advantage on two attack rolls. Let's go. I can't see because my drink's in the way. 22 to hit, which I think hits. Nine. Oh, we might do it here. One more to go. And yeah, this is all non-lethal. 16 to hit. It does not hit. Uh, so that's it. Fuck. Okay. Uh, back to the top with Talindra. <laughs> you know, it's just like covered in bruises. <laughs> just beat him with the bum of his The sword. skull's like, oh, this is good. And then out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, okay. How how far are we from uh, the, uh, the temple right now? Uh, you're further away than anybody else because you didn't really move, I don't think. So I didn't you're, move, no. You're uh, f about 40 feet away. Everybody else okay. is kind of up on him. Okay, I might say that for my next turn. Actually, I'm I'm gonna do another Tasha's hideous laughter. Okay. You could just um, beat him. <laughs> uh, seventeen. Okay, so okay. I believe. What's your spell DC? 
Uh, eight sixteen. 16, yeah. He, yeah, so he, he succeeds. He, he... <clears throat> All right. Um, okay. And... Oh, man. <laughs> the baboon could do it. Let's go, Always. baboon! <laughs> Let's go! He gets um, a D4. Max uh, yeah, I probably should just three. hit him. Shit. <laughs> oh, well. yeah, you already used your action, so... Yeah, oh, well. Um, okay, and Bonus I'm going to do... Points. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were that low. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have. Okay, um, I'm gonna do my mantle of majesty, and I looked this up, and it's not a charm, and it's I can com I can cast command. Uh, you have to, you have to, um, for mantle of majesty, I think you have to do something for over a minute, so mm -hmm. you can't do it's. No, I think it lasts for a minute. Well, let me check. For one minute or until your concentration ends, you can cast command as a bonus action. Let me look here. Because that's just a snippet you're looking at. I gotta look at the whole thing. It says it's one bonus action. All right, cool. I'm good. All right, so that's a bonus action. You can cast command. Looks about like two hundred pages. Okay, so it needs to make a wisdom save. What's the command that you say? I'm going to say. No, that's for one round. I'm going to say halt. That means okay. it does. It takes no actions. Stage. Natural one. All right. So, halt. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to sort of start moving to towards the temple, temple closer to the temple. Okay. And uh, that's my turn. Okay. Only lasts for one round, yeah. So, cool. Uh, that brings us to the baboon. Baboon. <laughs> Let's go. So you can roll in creature stat blocks now on D and D Beyond. So. Oh, it's not giving me that option. Oh, maybe only on the encounter builder for DMs. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll just roll two D twenties plus, plus one. one. Man, if the baboon does it, that'd be hilarious. You'd have nope, to roll max to it do misses. it. <laughs> yeah. How's it? Yeah, it rolled a four and a and an eight total of nine for okay. the attack so enoch is halted uh brings us the doppelganger who's gonna be like all right <laughs> Un unlethally all right let's do this with advantage for the doppelganger go 16 to hit misses thankfully he gets two attacks so one more there we go 21 to hit and then enoch says Shield for no. six, for six bludgeoning Ping. damage. So Enoch is unconscious, but it was all unlethal damage, unconscious, and will wake up in three hours. And that's where we're gonna end the session for the week. It's like nine twenty. All right. So. <laughs> oh no. <Wow. laughs> Ooh, this has been an a, interesting one. What a shit show. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to spend a whole nother day here. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> oh, man. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for the follow right at the end there, Tabletop Rules. Um, we'll be back here in about 10 minutes for our Embers of Autumn. So come watch. They're investigating a metery kind of conspiracy poisoning. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so come check it out. Good night.